For boomers, what do you think? What are boomers? <laughs> the oh, BMW sweet lovers? Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Which tattoo trends do you associate with Generation Z, with Millennials, and with Boomers? Gen Z? They get tattoos? Are they allowed to get tattoos? K-pop tattoos. Gen E is what? Very young. 2000. Hold on, wait. They're how old, old are enough to get now? tattoos? Wait, what age range are we talking here? BSM. What is it called? BTS. BTS. Gen Z are love these minimalist line work style tattoos and tattoos that intentionally look like they're done poorly. Definitely a desk at a school or like a Chipotle bag. Tattoos being too small, tattoos looking incomplete, like a lot of people just want line work. Gen Z, it could be anything from DIY tattoos. Uh... Definitely like tattooing yourself. That's a big trend right now. And I can't really tell if like TikTok is partially to blame for that or if, you know, it's good to like show people they shouldn't be doing it. The stipple stuff, the, the stick and poke. Yeah, I notice that a lot. And they're like, yeah, I got the stick and poke. They'll just take a needle with some like pen ink. And I'm like, what are you? But some of them I'm like, oh, it's actually not bad. Good for you. <laughs> but. Yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend that. Pinterest tattoos, <laughs> for the most part, definitely Pinterest tattoos. I feel like there's so many like Pinterest tattoos that are just curated specifically for Gen Z kids. You see a lot of like face tattoos and throat tattoos and hand tattoos and shit that like we were kind of taught, or at least I was taught like, hey, you don't tattoo those areas until you have under your clothes. Field. I, that's how you describe it is like the little letting that like Justin Bieber got on his neck is like what I've noticed that like some of the younger kids get now. So I feel like with the younger kids, they've been on this kick with like a lot of sound, like SoundCloud rappers that they want to get like their face tattooed immediately before they have any tattoos. I lived in LA for quite some time and there's like what I call them the bird boys because they be on those bird scooters and like all of them are 18 years old and have six tattoos. Two of them are on their face and four of them are on their knuckles. And they pay for it. They pay for like shop rates for kitchen tattoos. Really They're nice. well done too, cause it's LA, they got money and they got like this nice ass rose like on their cheekbone. And I'm like, what are you doing kid? Like they're a bit smarter. They're a bit smarter these days. They have all the shows, they have all the Instagram, like they like will spend some money because I have a 22 year old in my shop that she does like these tiny minimalistic tattoos really tiny work and all of them are like barely 18 babies, but then they come in and they start spending like $300 for something this big. So I'm like, okay, you're getting smart. You know, you gotta pay money to, you know, get some good work. You understand that that's a thing. These days, like people think uh, tattoo is a like, kind of like fashion. So I think like young people really love fashion these days. So I think like th that guys really want to get like oh, small tattoos and stuff, like, like as a fashion. Millennials, that would be me. I think I'm in the cusp of that one. And, uh, oh gosh. That would be me. Yeah. Oh, bangers? <laughs> um, what are millennials again? Us. Oh. Up until oh, like Better tattoos, way better tattoos. Uh, but also like shitty tattoos too. I have a lot of tattoos. Millennials typically have either really nice tattoos and very few of them or they're covered in just trash that they got from their homies or like some shop down the street that they knew a dude at. Millennials were a lot of like dumb, meaningless tattoos, like just stupid. Millennials, the dainty tattoos, right? Fine line. It's like a line around the forearm, that kind of stuff doesn't really make any sense. Stick and poke. Stick and poke. Fine line, line. Fine line. I don't know. Butterflies with any signs. Butterflies for millennials for sure. <laughs> I feel like commonly now everyone's getting like their significant others tattooed, like their name tattooed on them, which I will try to talk you out of, but love is love, so. Watercolor comes to mind. <laughs> A lot of watercolor. Um... You know, to me, like tattoos should look like tattoos, not like um, lines just wrapping around body parts, like squiggles. Weird. You know you are a millennial, right? No, I, I miss it by a year. A year were you born? 80. Yeah, you're a millennial. No, don't even, don't even go there with you me. You are, it's that year. <laughs> no. 
nature nature stuff. Millennials, I would say, did popularize the tree thing. I have to say. It's timeless though. Whales. <laughs> whales? Yeah. Whales. Whales. You remember the trend of doing whales? Everybody had a whale. And a wolf. And a wolf. I feel like if you're born in Portland, you're born with that tattoo already. Absolutely. You have the tree silhouettes. And if you live anywhere Burn. coastal, you have to have a nautical theme something. Like old kinds of whales, just like flying whales, swimming whales, What part of the world whales. are you talking about? <laughs> owls, I think there was like an owl fad for a little while. Um, there was an octopus fad for a little while. The um, world triangles. that we have whales and Triangles of whales. Whales and yeah, triangles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graph like geometry whales going stuff. Into that was cool. Millennials, I think maybe like neo-trad, realism. I don't know, traditional style, I guess I would say. That was like the first thing I started getting. I definitely had the cusp of 90s because my first tattoo was three skulls and a roses and with barbed wires. Bad chess pieces. Low, um, I would say uh, tramp stamps. But bring those back. Those are sick. Tramp stamps. I love those. Boomers. What, what, what are the boomers? Wait, okay, wait, what age exactly is a boomer? Baby boomers. Those are going to be like my parents, right? Can I cross my legs? Is that okay? Like, how old are those people now? That's like 65 and on. 65 and older? Are uh, they even still alive? Oh, the old people. Oh, okay. Yeah, like 65. Oh my now. god. Yeah. I'm not tattooing those fucking people. Oh, sorry for anyone at 60. That ain't too far away from me. Um, I've tattooed a couple of boomers. They get the most gangster shit, bro. If they're getting tattooed now, they're getting yeah, the sickest. Especially if they're getting tattooed until they're like 60s, 70s. Yeah, they just want their whole body tatted for some reason. Because I guess back in the day, they were not allowed to get tattooed. Now they have all the money in the world and you know, tattoos are pretty common, so they just come to me and tell me, hey, tat my whole body. I'm like, I got you. <laughs> you know what my dad has? The sparrows. He has a tattoo of a marlin like this big right in the middle of his bicep. Boomers would be anchors on a forearm. And actually, any, any boomer that's a female has a dolphin somewhere. I promise you. If they're getting tattoos, it's usually like American flags and like other, they still want tribal sleeves because they still think it's cool and tramp stamps, stuff like that. Okay, boomers were the origin of the tramp stamp. Yes, they, yeah. yes, actually, uh -huh. dude, sometimes I see a tramp stamp nowadays and I'm like, wow, an ode to our roots. Boomers, uh, typically like tribal tattoos, you can, somebody's got a tribal tattoo for sure. Definitely the tribal vibes. Like the 90s tribal is a thing and it still kind of is a thing for them or they just have one that they've gotten like a bajillion years ago. Not a bajillion, they're not that old, but. Man, as soon as I think boomer, I automatically think like bold American traditional tough tattoos. That's when like tattooing was dope. I love seeing like old tattoos on people, like six, you know, 50 year old tattoos, like it's like all blown out, like looking gnarly, I love it. When I think of boomers, I would think of like, I don't know, tradi American traditional tattoos, but like the super faded, like cool, aged. But that's just like preference, you know? Like yeah. some people like, you know, the newer sh but like I love seeing like old tattoos. Cause one day I'm gonna look like one of those buffoons, you know? I'm gonna look real crazy with my head tattoos and stuff, like old man, like I'm gonna look like. Wait, how old are you, 60? No, I'm 31, <laughs> but, or 32 now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's not too far. This was quick. I don't really know. I feel like it's kind of across the board now. Like things are kind of just melding together. Like I feel like a lot of things that used to be cool are, and were not for a while are coming back now. Like tribal is really cool again and people are getting tramp stamps again, so. Can't we just go back to like cool tats? You know, just just get like cool flash, man. That's all you that's all you gotta do. Just get like cool tats. You don't need to, you don't need to like have you know your, your whole family's approval. That's the worst. They call their mom, they call their sister, they call their brother, and they're like, oh, how do you feel about this? It's like, no, man, just get just get a skull, some flames on it or something. It'd be cool. <laughs> Clients that you've had. The oldest clients that I ever tattooed uh, was 75 years old. Yes. How'd they do? She did good. She sat like a champ. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> like the same thing she probably lost her feelings. 
<laughs> it's too old. <laughs> This is nothing. This is nothing. the lifetime I've lived. Uh, right. Which uh, generation did you do that? What was it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say my name? Jamie? No. Oh. Uh -huh. Cut.